Okay, you guys, the big, big announcement. So I have been thinking about this for a long time and I wanted to sort of take the watercolor uh, to another direction. I, I, it's still the watercolor, so I'm not doing anything drastic with it, but I, I just, I wanted to sort of take it in another direction. And I wanted to do something that was a little more project-based. Um, when I was little, I always loved to draw and I had tons of drawing paper, but even more than loving to draw, I loved to make things. And we never had a lot of money when I was growing up, and but I had stacks of construction paper and tons of tape and glue. And I would make stuff uh, uh, constantly, uh, cities and creatures and monsters and houses and just, uh, you name it, I probably tried to make it uh, when I was about 10 or 11. And I just, I'm still that same person. I love to make things. I love to create things that are three dimensional. And that's why over the years I've had so many interactive sets. Uh, because it's it's one of my favorite things to do things that move or shake or open or uh, Things that you can look through things that look more three-dimensional, which is probably why I am always harping at you guys to uh, Try to make these um, watercolor projects look three-dimensional Because it's just sort of always on my mind. So I um, with that in mind thought I want to try to um, think of something that is more project-based and I that would be really, really fun to do and even more fun if it's something that we could do together. And I think that um, this is something that you guys would really love to do. Uh, it's something we can do together. And um, I'm going to dedicate uh, two tutorials, two lives a month to it until it's complete and then we'll go from there. So I'm, I'm gonna just show you, I'm gonna switch my camera now over uh, because I, I, can, I need to show it to you in the right orientation and I don't want you to see it backwards. But um, I've just been working on this forever and uh, you know, the girls know, I've, we've been talking about it, I've been doing it, I've played around with it, uh, Joel has helped me and we've sort of refined it down to, I think a really good um, project size. So. Let me uh, switch things over. So those of you, oh, I'm a little nervous switching my camera. I don't know how many were on with Kendra last night when she had the haywire with her camera. So uh, fingers crossed that I don't have any haywires here when I go to switch my camera around. So here we go, you guys. Okay, I think we are, yay, home free. Um, okay, you guys, and you know, since I'm not doing my, um, I'm not doing an actual tutorial today, I can really pay attention to my comments. So I am going to be very interested in what you guys have to say about this and what you think about it because, um, I am, I am just, I have had the best time making this little book. Um, we're calling it a journal because it is very personal. It's uh, watercolor themed, of course, and I absolutely love Christmas. And so I'm thinking uh, to space it out now, we're going to be doing a tutorial every other week. Uh, we should finish it probably by October. So we're going to go page by page and we're going to put this little um, journal together. And I am going to go through the pages and show you guys exactly what it is. So <clears throat> I see the hearts coming, you guys. I'm just, I'm so excited to see the hearts. So let me know your, um, let me know your thoughts on, on this as we go. So first of all, this little booklet is one set of dies. Now, uh, we spent a lot of time on these dies to make sure that you got the most, uh, out of this set of dies. So it creates this book and pretty much everything that I'm going to show you in it. And let me show you what the dies look like. So here they are. It's a pretty, it's a pretty good size set. Um, but it contains absolutely everything that you need to put this book together. And I'll show you, uh, at the end just how exactly that, that works. So this is the set of dies. Now, these are all, you guys, these are all available right now. You're, you guys are seeing it first. 
Um, these are available on the website right now. The first tutorial will be on the 20th, so it will be in two weeks. So you will have plenty of time to get your supplies if you want to do this project with me, you wanna follow along with me. Um, you can uh, get your projects, get, uh, get your supplies, order them, get them in plenty of time to do that first tutorial with me on the 20th. And of course, it'll stay archived on there. So you'll be able to go back and reference it. At the end of that tutorial, I will show you what we're doing on the next one so that you can get ready for the next one. And we can assemble this together during the live and complete all of these pages, okay? So this is, this is the big thing. This is the, uh, the journal template die set. It's 5543. It is absolutely, um, loaded and, but it's not super big. And, you know, that was the other thing. I want this to be for all skill levels. Uh, it is not just for advanced. It is for all skill levels. So all the projects in here are going to be simple. And the new stamps that go along with it, really the difference is that they're more long and narrow and they're made to fit on a page this size. Okay, so um, the, the only thing that isn't in that set of dies is this little clasp set. Now, is this just the cutest? So this was designed by Joel. Uh, and I absolutely um, love it. It works just great. And it will close up your little book just like this. So basically, you are you open it like this, and then it attaches to the back side. Um, so just like this. And then it swings forward, and then it just, it latches in here just like that. So this is its own set because it isn't absolutely necessary for the journal. You can close a journal, you know, a lot of different ways. So it isn't absolutely critical. Um, so that's why it's in its own set. And it is, let me show you what it is. And I'll go back through these again, you guys. Um, it is this one, and it is called the um, the Journal Class Die Set 5556. And it also comes with these little locks and keys. How cute is this? So you can attach these little locks and the little keys onto your um, onto your journal, too. So just so cute. He just, he did a great job on that. I absolutely love this. Okay, so let's go through this and let me show you what this is. And there are also new um, watercolor sets that will go with this. Now, that being said, we're going to be going back to a lot of the watercolor sets we have. As far as the Christmas, notice this little tree on here, that is from the tree set. So, you know, this, this little foliage here, you know, we're going to be going back and we're also going to be using um, our best friend, Dr. P.H. Martin. So you, me, and Dr. P.H. Martin, um, we're going to have the best time putting these little books together, you guys. I, and, I, I, and I also just absolutely love Christmas. And I'm just, I, you know, I've been dying to do something with snow. So here we go. We're going to do lots of snow in here. Okay, let's start with the first page. And this will be the first tutorial. First tutorial will be the cover. And then um, as you open this up, this is the first page here. So this little pocket included... Uh, this, I just tucked a little card in here. So I made this little watercolor wreath and I just, you know, you could write your own little sentiment in here. We're going to create this little pocket. This little decorative piece, you see that little cutting edge that's in the set, that's in the die set. This little uh, frame that's in the die set. And then here is the set of stamps that actually goes with that set. So let me tell you this, there is uh, on the website, if you want to, you can buy the whole uh, bundle. You can buy the die set and all of the new stamp sets that go into this journal um, right now for a bundle price. It's a discounted price. So if that's something that you want to do, is just get it all at once. You can do that and you'll see it on the website. It's available right now on there. Um, for a bundle price. So you can do that. If you don't, if you want to just maybe um, do one page together and just kind of see how it goes, you could start out with this set. This is the first page and the cover that we'll be doing in that first tutorial. So this cover, we're going to assemble the book, we're going to do the cover, and then we're going to do this page. And that is this set. So here's that little snowman that's on the cover. And here's this little guy with the sleigh. 
and this is 5571. So you could just get your dies and you could get one uh, stamp set like this one. And then you're, you'll be good to go for the next tutorial. And then you could kind of just see how it goes from there. Uh, I'll show you what the next page is. And then you can decide if you want to do that. Or you could maybe just follow along and do something that you have um, already in your stash. So um, this one, here is this little frame. This is included in the die set. Um, I absolutely love these. I absolutely love this, you guys. This has just been the funnest project for me because it's a, a combination of the watercolor and yet it's a project base. And, you know, I see these little journals, these little portfolios. I see them um, around a lot, but I don't... Um, I don't see the cohesive look of something that is all the same, that has the same style, like um, the watercolor. So you could you could make this as a brag book for yourself. You could make it as a really, really special gift. And you've got the dies, so you could make three or four of these. You could um, make this tutorial, we could do this tutorial, and then maybe you make three or four of them and you do pages in several at a time. So it's a really good value and I have so many plans for this little book, you guys. I have so many ideas and I'm sure you can be thinking of lots of things too, wedding themes, you know, obviously florals, babies, um, you know, there's just kind of no end to it. And we're just going to have so much fun. And I would just love to keep going with it. And once we finish Christmas, just move on to another theme, you guys. I think that would just be so much fun. So, okay, let's go on to the next page. So this will be the first tutorial. So then the one after that will be the next one. And that will be this page. And I just tucked this little um, note in here. And I made this little... Um, this little mailbox. So here is this set. Now this one has this one has that little mailbox, and it's it's long and tall, so it's just perfect to fit inside this journal and this little birdhouse. Now the birdhouse, uh, you could obviously make Christmas too. Put a little cardinal on it, and put a little wreath on it, and put some snow on the roof, and you're good to go. So I only use the mailbox on this one, and then this this little corner. Um, is also a die. So it's this it's this little die right here, and I just cut it at an angle. See, just like that, created a little pocket. This little envelope here, that's part of the die set. You're going to get that too. Um, all of these things are going to be included. And this little decorative paper piece, here's another little edge. That one also is included. So you can see these two edges um, are included. Here's that decorative piece, um, this big one right here that goes on the inside. So they're really, they're gonna be really simple to um, assemble because you'll have kind of everything at your fingertips. <clears throat> so that, that, little, um, that little stamp set, we're gonna be doing that. We're gonna be doing this page uh, on the next tutorial and hopefully we'll see how the first one goes. Uh, maybe we can get to the second page as well because these are really, you know, they're really simple projects. Um, there is also, this set, you guys, so there are lots of little banners like this included because Joel is a master at tucking little things in here and there. And he has, he has really done a good job of cramming so much into these die, this die set. So we did a, um, we did a set of all little sentiments like this that you can add to your little, um, your little journal. So like this one. Warmest Wishes for a Merry Christmas, that is this one right here. And then this little Merry Christmas, um, it is on here, right here. So you'll be able to put that onto a little banner if you want to. And you can change these up, you guys. This is just to inspire you. And then once you start doing this, um, you'll just, you'll your imagination will just go crazy. So, and I said I was gonna be watching the comments and I, you guys, I'm looking, okay, let me just scroll through. Um, okay, somebody asked if the paper will be included. Uh, no, we don't know. The paper is not included, but, you know, just go through and find all your Christmas paper. That's what I did. I found all kinds of little pieces of Christmas paper. And also, I can give you a list of the paper that I used. So if you want to make it exactly like this and you want to see what I've used and the companies that I purchased from, uh, I can give you that list. 
So yes, I meant to address that earlier. Now that's something that we're going to do down the road. Uh, we did not get that finished in time for this book, but we are going to be um, we are going to be providing the paper too, just so that everything is a little more um, cohesive when we're doing it together. Okay, so how cute is this, you guys? Ready to move on to the next page? Um, absolutely, had the most fun. Okay, so now this page, um, this little Santa. So this, you see this little die here. That's a little corner, and it's this one right here. And you could put a little photograph in there. And I just, you know, I put this little Santa in there. This frame also, this little uh, four frame, let me show you that one. That also is in here. So this frame right here, I used the four on this page, and then I cut, cut these pieces out, and I just used the single frame around the little Santa. So um, another really super... Super easy, super easy one. Now this stamp set is Santa and the Workshop set. This is 5572 and it comes with the Santa's Workshop. Now it's not in this journal, but you know, we're gonna get to it. It's so cute. So the little Santa and his little workshop. I also tried to make these as simple as I could. So I included the, um, the little lamppost into the image so that it was easier to put together. So when we actually do this, you'll see that that, that little lamppost is included in that, um, in that image so that you don't have to um, mask and add things to it. These, are supposed, these projects are going to be pretty simple for, like I said, any skill level. And this is the little guy um, right here. And then the little ornaments, <clears throat> those are in here in the little church this little church. We'll get to that. That's on one of these other pages. So these little ornaments are in here. And this is them right here. So you can see that you can just, you can add all sorts of things in here. You could, you know, do something totally different than this frame. But I'm just, you know, giving you an idea of stuff that I made. And I just had the best time. See the little, all the little foliage here. So this is the little fir boughs. Um, that's from, that's from the, um, that's from the um, our regular stamp sets. So uh, I'm trying to remember what one that fur bow was in. Is that in the tree set? Can't remember where that little fur bow is. But we're gonna just keep going back to that. See that little tree here? This is all, you know, we're gonna go back to those stamp sets that um, we used before. So you could make something really simple too. You could have a little tree in here and maybe a sentiment in here and, you know, something totally different in this little frame. And then I put the little banner on here and the sentiment and um, notice all the snow, you guys. I just have snow everywhere. I, I just, I don't know. That was one of the funnest things was putting the snow on and all the little decorative um, elements. It was just, it was just a blast. And, you know, I, my papers, you can see, I really went through and tried to, I, I really scrounged. I found all kinds of, you know, colors. I don't even know what this um, paper is from. At first I thought it looked like webs, but it isn't. It looks like snowflakes. <laughs> so it is Christmas paper. But um, I just went through and found, you know, a bunch of um, paper that I had. And, you know, I just put it in this little journal. And I think it's kind of fun to mix it up, you know. So get those little scraps out. Get all your favorite Christmas paper out. All your little scraps of, you know, reds and greens and blues. I, I love adding this um, warm blue to it. I just always love that um, for Christmas. So, you know, I have that kind of throughout, you know, my my projects. I kind of have that light, little light blue, you know, running through this theme. So, uh, but that's just something that I prefer, but you know, you don't have to, you don't have to do that. Okay, so here is the center page and there will be a center page. And this is, was the funnest thing to make. I absolutely had a blast. And I did this brand new set. Uh, I included the little fence into the composition like this. So we've got the little farmhouse here and we've got the little barn. And notice the white accents on the door here. That's the white paint. So we wouldn't have been able to do that um, without uh, Paige Martin. I mean, he... Because of him, we can put this t these details onto this this barn door. I made this little wreath here, made a little wreath on the fence. 
Um, I don't know if you can see really clearly, but I've got snow um, just pasted on this <laughs> on this roof, just all over this roof. Um, snow everywhere on the trees, just absolutely the funnest. And then I just put in a I just put in a little pocket. So this pocket, did I show you where this pocket was on here? Here, this is the pocket right here. This is the pocket. You can see the little tabs. Um, I just put this in the center because I thought a gift card would be really cute in here. And I just kind of attached it with a little foam dot so it'll stay put. But how fun would a little gift card be to like um, a coffee shop or something, you know, really cute that um, would kind of go along with these these little um, structures, but I don't know. This was my favorite page, you guys. I I just had so much fun. I can't wait to make this with you guys. It was absolutely the funnest. This might take an entire um, live. We're just gonna see how it goes. I just I don't want to rush through it, and I want to be sure to actually assemble it uh, before I get off the live, so that you have that archived on there. You can go back and reference it, and then um, be able to see what we're gonna be doing for the next one. So we're definitely going to be making this center page. And um, I absolutely love it. And I, you know, I usually don't uh, do the yellow in the windows, but that's my new favorite thing now, doing the little light in the windows. I think that just brightened it all up. I put some, kind of put some snow down here in the bottoms of the windows, um, a few little shadows, but you'll be surprised how easy this is now. Um, it's so easy. You don't have to worry so much about leaving those white areas because you can just paint right over the top if you make a mistake. Just paint right over the top. Uh, no big deal at all. And it really, really, um, it really makes a difference. So uh, it has, this was just so fun. Okay, you guys, I said I'm going to be watching my comments. So what has everybody, what do you guys think of this so far? Um I, like I said, I am just like in love with it. And I just, I don't know. I hope you guys, I hope you guys will do this with me because that would just make it so much fun um, to do it together. And then tell me what you want to do on the next one um, because we'll be finishing up in, um, we'll be finishing up before October. So, I mean, how fun would a little Halloween one do, would be. That would also be really fun to do. Some webs and some little bats, you know, around. I think that would be so fun. Um, okay, so let's go to the next page. <clears throat> now this page, uh, I, so th this one is also new, this door. So it's just long and it's long and narrow. And that's, this is it right here. Also comes with these little stockings, which uh, you can see back here at the back, the little stockings. It's just super cute. And it also has, you know, has these little windows here. So you can put this snow uh, I, and I made them so that I could put this snow in the window. So you know how it, it looks like, you know, when the window's kind of frosted over and you can kind of see this, you know, little frosted area. I mean, I put those in just so that I could put that frosted area in just so I could use the snow. Um, and obviously you can see the snow everywhere on here. Uh, just fun. And then I did this little uh, wreath. So I just created this little wreath using a tiny little foliage that I have. This, you know, the little holly boughs, um, you know, we're going to get all of those out. Here's also the trees again, the Christmas trees. So we're going to be using those and just, you know, putting snow all over them. Uh, just so much fun. I added, you know, a few little berries. It also comes with this really cute little bow. So you could pop this out. You know, you could just cut it out, pop it out and put it on here. Um, three dimensional. Now I haven't added, you know, any like ribbon or, you know, embellishments hardly at all. So that's something that you guys can do too. You know, make this your own. You know, I'm going to be focused on the watercolor and getting, you know, all of these little elements in here so that you can see how to put these together. But you can, you know, absolutely add, you know, whatever you want to add to it, you know, little banners and whatnot. So here's that set. This is the door and stocking set, 5574. And then, okay, you guys, this uh, okay, so I love the barn and I love the farmhouse, but look at these fat little cars I made. <laughs> I'm just like, I absolutely, this is why I have been dying to show this to you guys because I am just, I have had, <laughs> I've had more fun putting this together. Look at this chubby little truck. And I put that little tree in it, 
you know, like we've done with the, um, with the truck, you know, the watercolor truck, we put trees in it, made it Christmassy and all that. Well, I made this really short and stout because I want it to fit on the page. So it has to fit in the journal. So I made that one. And then this little Volkswagen, which also would be so cute with a Christmas tree in it. Wouldn't that be so fun to just um, decorate this up with Christmas and maybe put a little um, fur bow, you know, a little fur bow on here and, you know, or a little wreath and then put your tree up in it. It would just, it would just be so cute. And then, of course, just cover it in snow, just snow everywhere. So that's what I did here. I put a little wreath on it. <clears throat> so here's the actual, here's the actual image here. You can kind of see the size of it. So it will fit on the page perfectly. And how cute would it be um, on this page? So it would be really cute right in between the little house and the barn too, wouldn't it? I think that would be so cute. I thought of that after I made the gift card um, holder. So this, okay, so let me show you this really quickly. Um, I made this in a little frame, and then in the die set, you guys, it has an easel. So you could make something like this that uh, stands up, and you can tuck it into a pocket and make a little frame, you know, around it and give it, um, have a little extra thing that somebody can just kind of stand up on their on their shelf. Or you could uh, you could make it a little tag, or you could make a little ornament, or you could just, you know, the sky's the limit, you guys. And so I just created another pocket here using that same that same die. Here's that sculpted die again. And I, I just made all my pages white. I cut them all out white, and I'll show you how kind of how they assemble. And by the way, I'll be doing a little tutorial on YouTube on how to put the journal itself together just how to assemble it. And then we're gonna go through and do each page separately, but just, just so that you have an idea of how to actually put um, the journal together. So I just made this and tucked it into, um, tucked it into this little envelope, but oh my word, was it ever fun to make. Just so fun. And I, you know, I, I just drew on this little bow, but you could, like I said, you could, Put a little bow on here if you want to. You could put um, a little silver bow or a gold bow on here. You could put a little banner with a message. Um, there's just so many options. And notice, you guys, the snow in the back. I need to make sure that I point out the snow to you because <laughs> I the snow was just so much fun. I piled it on the little wheel wheels. And I mean, I just put snow everywhere. It was just so fun. And then um, from our little snowflake set. So that's where these guys come from. So I tried to mostly use what was in the die set. The only the only thing that I used that was not in the die set was from our double stitch dies. So I may have used a circle or an oval or something from our double stitch dies, but that would be a simple thing that you could um, that you probably have in your stash of dies, a circle or an oval or a square or a rectangle. Um, okay, so let's move to the next page, you guys. So here is the next page, and here's that little church. So let me show you that again because um, I absolutely love this little church. And this is a set, the Church and the Ornaments, 5573. It also comes, or did I say that? It comes with the lamppost. So it's all part of this, this set. So when you go to stamp this, you have everything in here. And then the only thing we're adding is trees. And, you know, I added some vines in here, those little holly uh, boughs. I added those. I put the little wreath on here. Um, and then I created the snow in the windows, you guys. Surprise. I created snow in the windows and on the roof. So see the roof here? See how narrow, narrow it is? You know, normally we would have to leave that line off and then sort of create the idea of the snow here. Well, not now because we just painted on. I mean, we literally just paint the snow on to the side of the roof and it's perfect. So absolutely just the funnest. It sort of takes the planning out of it. It really, it makes it so much simpler to use um, because it's just, there's, there's, like I said, there's, there's not as much planning involved. You don't have to think about where that white area is going to go. And then these little guys. So I just, I pulled these out of my uh, box of little critters and I just thought they were so cute. I added a little, you know, holly to them up here, put them in a little circle and uh, just put them on this page. So um, absolutely just so much 
fun to make. Notice the snow in the background. And, you know, you can't see on here, but I have tons of glitter too. So you can just slather it with glitter also. That would be so fun. And personalize it. So, you know, any of these pages, you know, you could tuck in a gift card, uh, you know, on several pages, like a little $5 you know, gift card. Uh, you could take that little Santa's workshop and you could make it look like a coffee shop. Um, maybe that would be something that we do down the road. You could make it look like a little coffee shop and then make a little pocket with a little Starbucks um, coffee card or Dutch Bros or whatever you prefer. And uh, just tuck these little um, special treats or money or whatever you want to do um, to tuck into this these little books. Just so fun. So the last page... I added another pocket and I just put a place for a note. So <clears throat> it just says a note for you and you could write just a little personal message to someone if you want to. Uh, you could put another gift card in there if you want to. Uh, I just sort of ended it with these little stockings that are hanging and these little um, holly boughs. Um, just simple, just simple, you guys. I mean, I just, I put the simplest little details on these socks and a little you know shadow on here so you can see these projects are really 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 simple to do and we're going to go over it i'm going to go over them slowly and make sure that you guys get it uh, like i said for all skill levels so i'm going to go back through it again you guys just because for those of you who may have just come on and you know in case you want to see the snow again so okay let me show you how it folds up first so the uh each page folds in on itself so one two, three, four, five, six, and then the last page folds in like this, and then it folds up like that, and then your little clasp um, will close it um, just like this. And it folds up just like that. Absolutely the funnest little book, you guys. I just, you know, I, I've done this Christmas one now. I can't wait to just go on to the next one and uh, think about what other ideas. So you guys let me know what ideas you have and let me know if you're going to be following with me. Are you going to be doing this with me? Please let me know in the comments so that I can see who's going to be doing these projects with me. In between, so I'm going to dedicate two lives a month to uh, these little journals. And even if you're not doing the journal, there will still be instruction. So, you know, all of these things can be put on a card. You know, absolutely. They, they're all watercolor projects that you could do in a journal, a different journal, or you could do on a card. Um, just like our other projects, you could put it in a little frame, same thing, same idea. Um, it's just that we are going to be putting them in a, in a book, in a journal like this. And then in between, so I'm going to start on the 20th, but, um, in between, I'm going to do my regular watercolor lives. So, uh, you know, something a little more, um, with the current season. So maybe some florals or something like that. So it won't be all Christmas, but, I think it will be fun to start early and do this sort of Christmas in July and put this little book together to get, uh, you know, all of us together. And then when we're finished, it'll be so fun to look through and um, give away or show someone or just keep it because you've put so much time and work into it. Okay, I'm going to show you one more time and then I'll show you how to assemble um, the book. So here we go. This is page one. This is the first tutorial the cover. So we're going to assemble the book and we're going to make the cover. And then we're going to do the first page, which is this one right here. So this is the first page that we're going to do the little frame with this little snowman and his sleigh. We're going to do that. Uh, the second one is going to be this one. So the second week or the second tutorial. So in two weeks and I'll, sh I will show you uh, what the next one is so that you can either get that set or you can um, decide what you want to do with it and or maybe create something different that you have in your stash and still put it into the book. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the second page. And then here is the third page. There are three pages on each side. This is the third page here, the little Santa. And then the center. The little center page with the little farmhouse and the barn 
And you know what? We could put the silhouettes in here too. I never even thought of that. The little silhouettes would be so cute. Um, you know, and the more I look through here, the different ideas I have. So, uh, you know, I, I probably may change things up even a little bit and just add something, <laughs> something else because I just, every time I look through it, I have another idea. Oh, maybe I could this on this page. Um, here's the next page, fourth page uh, with the little truck. And the fifth page with the little church. So cute. And I don't have any little banner or sentiment on here, but how cute would this be to have something like, um, let's see, what does it say on here? Peace on earth. How cute would that be? That would be so cute to put on there. Joy to the world. Um, white Christmas. Joyous Noel. So many of these will work in here. I love that peace on earth. That might be my favorite one to probably put in here. Peace on earth. How cute. These little guys are sleeping. And then the last page, a note for you. So you can make that personal to someone or you can change it up and make it totally 100% different um, than what I have on here. Okay, so let's fold this back up. I'll show you again how to fold it up. So um, this one, okay, one, if I'm not doing this backwards now, three, four, five, and I did. Okay, so let's start the other <laughs> Okay, so this one, right goes down first, two, three, four, five, six, and then the bottom comes up, and it closes, and your little clasp set. Absolutely love this clasp set. And it just works great. It actually, wor it really, really works great. So you can see the backside here. Okay, so let me show you. Let me show you how this goes together. So there, the big die, the the biggest die is is the um, the cover. So it's this big square um, die right here, and it's going to cut out this shape here. So there's a rounded there's a rounded edge here, and then there's a pointed edge here. So this is the back side, the pointed edge, and the rounded side is the front of the cover. Now, when you're making this, uh, make sure you're using a heavyweight cardstock. Um, you know, I had to, I looked through my stash and I found a really heavyweight Christmas uh, green and I used that. So make sure that you are using something substantial. You could also use white, you know, just use a heavy white cardstock and do it that way too. So now you're going to cut two of these. So two of them. And here's how they go. The, the, the sides with the sharp corners goes inside and they glue together. So just like this, so you're laying them out. See the curved, the curved sides on either side. And then you're gonna glue that section together. And they'll, they just line up. So this section here is gonna, let's just do it. You know what, let's just do it really quick. So I've got some adhesive here. Let's just put a little tape here and a little tape here. This is really easy to assemble, um, super easy. I just, I can't have anything complicated, you guys. I, it, it has to be simple or I just can't do it. Um, so now you're gonna just line it up. See along that score line, you're just gonna line it up along that score line and just glue it down. So now you have, see, it just lines up like that. And then it folds in like this. Nothing to it, just super easy. So now when you go to put your pages in, so here's the, here's the page. And it, it's, a, it's a square like, or a rectangle like this, and it has a score line. So this is, the, this is what the page looks like. And you're gonna fold it on that score line now this is really important. Uh, you want to, you're, you're going to put it into your book, so you're gonna lay it flat. It looks like an L, and you're gonna see that edge. So, so in other words, it's not gonna be in like this. You're not gonna glue it in like this. You're gonna see the lip. And you're gonna just put it along that edge, um, just like that. Let's just do it, let's just do it here. 
So put this piece of tape on here. Just like this, just to show you guys. So it's going to it's going to be flush now with this score line. Let's see this glaring right on that score line. So it's going to look like that. So see? You want to be able to see that edge right there. And the reason is because we have things that are three-dimensional here. So we've got things that are popping up. So we want to be able to leave enough space see in here um, for those things that were popping up. And then the next page goes right next to it. So this one just goes right in here, just like that. And you can fit three, three pages. And when you're done, you'll have a little space in here, just like that. You'll have a little space in between. That's because this is also built up inside um, the center. So you want to be sure that you have enough um, space in between for those three-dimensional things, those pockets and everything else that we have that we're, we're um, putting in here. And then it just folds together. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So same thing over here. You're going to see that edge, you know, just like this when you're doing this one. And you're going to put it in there just like, just exactly like this one. Okay. Does that make sense, you guys? And that's that's how it goes together. Just so easy. Um, okay, Barbara says, Bonnie, you have the mind of a creative artist and an engineer. Oh, how funny. Phil says that I am a paper engineer. How funny is that? <laughs> I, you know what? It's so funny because um, I really did make stuff all the time when I was little and I, I still do. I still love that. And I, I loved putting things together. And that's why I had, that's why I've had so much fun putting this journal together is because I'm able to, was able to incorporate the watercolor and, um, this project together and then just being able to do it, um, together would, it just makes it even so much fun way more fun. And I, I really, um, I messed around with the size a lot too, you guys, because I, um, I don't want it to be too overwhelming as far as the projects go. So sometimes, you know, if we're trying to do these little, these little projects, if they're too big, um, they're too overwhelming and people just quit before they give it a try. And I want you to, you know, I don't want you to do that to discour get discouraged. I want you to, um, I want you to give these little projects a try. We can make them simple. That's my goal. We're going to make them really simple. And we're going to um, come up with a little masterpiece, you guys, that I hope um, you are thrilled with because I for sure am. Um, does anybody, I'm going to switch my camera around, but does anybody have any questions for me about this? Um, and I'm going to go back through the comments and see if how many people are going to be doing this with me? So, uh, Roberta, will the dies fit in the standard die? Yes, absolutely. Standard die cut machine, absolutely. Yes, um, yes, they will. So there are right now there are eight. There are eight watercolor sets. Let me go through these um, one more time. And these are, you know, like I said, they're on they're on the website right now. You could start with the entire bundle if you want. There's a discounted price for the entire bundle if you want to get the dies and the stamp sets and be ready to go. You can certainly do that. So <clears throat> the clasps are separate, uh, like I said, because they aren't absolutely critical to the journal. They are an embellishment, but you guys are going to want, you're going to want these. They are so cute. And this little lock, how cute is that little lock on here? And they just, they're really simple to do. So let me just show you really quick. You're just going to glue it so that it's flush with the edge. See, this one overlaps just a tiny little bit over the top. This one's a little bit crooked and I should have moved it up just a tiny bit because it's a little looser. This one latches much better. Um, so you want to just, you want to attach this, whoops. So you want to you want to um, attach it to the back only when you're doing the when you're doing this part of the um, fastener. You're just in, you're just doing this one. And what I do is I glue this on first, 
okay? And then I take my little strap and I tuck it in where it goes. And then I just turn my, my page around like this and I lay it down and that's where I glue it so that I can see exactly where it's going. But these are score lines here. So you'll be able to see these score lines, um, where to fold it. But tuck this in first, you know, tuck this little strap in first before you glue it down. Let's fold this right here too, because it's just, so let's fold this back. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, here we go. Okay, so now it's folded right. So if you, when you put this in, Glue that, glue this little tab down so that it's it's to the edge, okay? Can you see that? It's to the edge. And you could do three, you could do one. Um, I put two on mine, but it's totally up to you. Now, before you glue this down, so tuck it in here and hold it, and you can see that score line. Hold it along the score line, fold it over, and then glue this part down, and it'll be perfect. So tuck it in before you glue it, Tuck it in, fold it down over the spine, and then glue it down right where it falls. And it will just, it'll be perfect. Just like that. Okay, so here's the clasp set. Y556 journal clasp set. And here is the journal dies. And you can see all of the images on the front. Um, here's an idea of some of the things that we're gonna be doing but it is 5543, the journal template die set. And we are going to be using this single die set um, over and over again, because it's yeah, we don't need to reinvent the wheel now. We've got this uh, perfect little book and we're gonna just be able to do tons of stuff with it. So I'm just really excited. We, we went through, through it, Joel and I did, and you know, I feel like he, you know, we really got this down to where it's going to be really user friendly and it's just, it's a really good size and we're going to be able to do lots and lots of different um, themes in it. I just think it's going to be so fun. Um, okay, so here are the stamp sets. Um, here is the first one. Let me show you again. The first one that we're going to be doing, the first tutorial, like I said, is on the 20th and it'll be this set. So 5571, if you just want to get your die, if you want to follow along, you just want to get your dies and one stamp set. You could get this one, the 5571, and then you're ready to go um, for the first tutorial that will be on the 20th. And I'm not sure how long it'll be. Um, it could be, you know, an hour, could be two hours, you guys. So we're just going to, we're just going to go with it and just see how long it takes. But, you know, if you can't stay on the whole time, you know that everything will be archived on there and you'll be able to come back and go through it. Um, okay, so this one, 5571 Christmas Snowman set. Uh, and then these, these are all available right now. 5573, the Church and Ornament set. All the little sentiments, you guys. I'm so excited about this set because there's so many little banners and things in here. And, you know, we're going to eventually, I mean, hopefully use them all, but there's so many extra little things in here that you're just going to have so much fun with. Um, lots of little sentiments. <clears throat> Uh, the door and the stocking set, um, 5574, so this one. Uh, my favorite little chubby trucks, 5576. I absolutely love this little, I just love these little chubby, um, these little tr chubby trucks. So cute. I just think this one, I'm going to have to try this now with the Christmas. I have not tried this one uh, with a Christmas tree in it, but I'm just going to have to. How cute would that be? Uh, and here is the Victorian house and barn set. Now these are, the fence is part of the stamp. So um, it's all one. It's going to be easy. You don't have to line anything up. Be super easy. Uh, this is uh, 5567. Now these sets, they say they're, uh, they're for watercolor journals, but you know, they're, they can also be used for everything else. So they're watercolor stamps, you guys. So they can be used on cards and, you know, framed and just whatever. as Just like you normally do. You could make a tag or a Christmas tag or whatever. Um, so there, there's there's not nothing different about them. It's just the size. The, um, the book itself is about three and a half by, 
Um, is it by four and a half, three and a half by four and a half, something like that. And these are made to go on a page that size. That's why. Uh, this one on Santa and the workshop. How cute would this be? A little coffee shop. Don't you think that would be so cute? And then you could tuck a little gift card in. I think that would be so cute. Just put, you know, lattes, five cents or something like that. I think that would be really cute. And then uh, the mailbox and birdhouse set. Now this one is, you know, a good. Now all of these, let me just say this too. You know, the image on the front is Christmas. And, you know, that's what they're being, when they're being released is during this Christmas um, release. And, you know, they're, we're doing this Christmas journal. But these can also be used uh, for summer and florals. You know, they'd be so cute uh, in a field of flowers you know, with trees and, you know, um, leaves and all of that. So keep that in mind too. They're not just snowy for Christmas. Uh, any of these things, these things would be so cute with the uh, flowers in the back. Um, you know, they're going to be good for any season, all of these things. Um, uh, this one too, this would be great for any season. Um, obviously you can, you know, grow, grow vines and florals and just tons of stuff on here. And it'll just be so cute. Um, same thing with coffee. You could make a little a little journal with a coffee theme. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? And just have like little $5 gift cards. I don't know. But a $5 gift card, does that buy a coffee anymore? Probably not. So maybe a $10 gift card. Um, so here's the, okay, 5572. Did I just say that? Now I'm backtracking. Um, here's the door, 5574. The church, 5573. Um, and the snowman set. Okay, you guys. Um, I think we have gone through everything. Um, I will be really curious to know your thoughts on this. So I'm going to just, I'm going to switch my camera around now <clears throat> and say goodbye to you. Okay, my people. All right, you guys, what do you think? Um, I can't, I just, I can't wait to read your comments and see what your thoughts are on this. And if you're going to be doing this with me, I'm just, I'm just beyond excited. And I, I just think that we're going to have so much fun doing it. And then, you know, we're going to have to find a way so that I can see your journals. I just, I'm going to need to see your journals. So we're going to have to figure that out. And maybe we can um, post them on the blog or something. We'll figure that out. But um, I'm going to love to see what you're making. Um, okay, what watercolor brushes do we need for the journal? Same, same brushes that we've always used. Use your number four and your number one. You could use your new, brand new little... Um, the little um, chisel brush um, that we just got in. You could, you could have that one too, but nothing special. There's not gonna be anything special that you need for these projects. It's gonna be just like every other watercolor tutorial. Same watercolor paper, um, just same everything. Um, Carmen, wonderful. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks, you guys. Thank you for your feedback. I hope this will be so much fun. I think it will. And I love, of course, I love the idea of the project. <clears throat> and, you know, my head is just spinning on um, all the new different ideas. And I'd love to hear your thoughts, too, for some new ones. So once we finish the Christmas journal, we're going to go on and do a, another one. I think that would be so fun. And I love that um, they're going to be, they're going to have a cohesive theme. So they're all going to kind of flow together because it's watercolor and it's all going to have the same look. So I just also love that. Absolutely love that. Um, okay, you guys, I'm going to sign off. Thank you so much for being with me. Um, <clears throat> I will see you next week. So next week will be a regular tutorial. Um, I'll show the journal again for those of you who um, haven't seen it or want to see it again. I'll just go through it one more time. And then uh, the following week will be um, our first tutorial on the watercolor journal. So I'll be excited to do that. Um, next week will be a regular tutorial. I'll think of something really fun. Um, maybe something that is floral since we're doing all this watercolor and snow. <laughs> snow and Christmas. So maybe something that's floral, but I'll, I'll think of something. I'll get a really good tutorial together for you. So I will be back next week with all of you. 
Um, thanks everybody for following along. Send me your thoughts and your ideas. I absolutely will love to see them. And um, thanks so much for being with me. Thanks for being the best supporters. You guys are just the best. We appreciate you and um, we love you all so much. Thanks so much.